So let's do the unboxing. Here's the box. It's pretty simple, white with a Huion logo over here and the tablet number. It's now it's called 1060 Plus. It's an updated version of the 1060 Pro Plus. And on the back of the box we have some general information and some specifications. You'll find them in the info tab. Okay, let's look inside. Okay, yeah, we see the tablet. Uh huh. Yeah, pretty hard to take it out. So the tablet is very light. Yeah, very light. The physical buttons are on the left. The LED light indicating if the tablet is working, and the capacitive buttons on the top. Well, it's a smooth surface. I think the surface is updated as well. I had. Yeah, we can see that the profile of the tablet is a bit curved, so it's. I think it's more comfortable to do some drawing and we have a micro USB port for connecting the tablet and here uh, it's an interesting thing vacuum tablets don't have this it's a card slot it's a micro SD card slot and there was an 8 gigabyte card included so that's pretty nice and I think it's gonna be comfortable we'll see about that okay looking more yeah here's the pen holder with extra nibs inside it's just you just screw it like that, pretty simple. And the pen. Oh, the pen is light as well. It's very light compared to with the vacuum tablets. You have two buttons and you have the nib. It sits in the holder like that, pretty simple. And looking more deeper, so we have the cords. This is for charging the pen. This is to connect the tablet. We have some drivers in the CD, some guides, huh? and oh yeah, here's a pleasant surprise. Uh, a free glove, drawing glove was included, so that says a free gift. It covers only the two bottom fingers, so your hand doesn't get sweaty and you can draw more easily. Okay, let's connect the tablet to the PC and see how it works. So the tablet is connected and as you see I'm already wearing the glove. It's not a very high quality glove but it still works, it's smoother to move it like that. Here's my pen and the pen holder and as you may notice it, the pen is upside down. Well, I'm a left-handed person so that's how I need to use it. Of course the capative buttons are going to be upside down so number 1 is here, number 16 is here and these ones as well. well the surface is very smooth, I like it, but the one thing is disturbing me a bit that you can hear some squeaking noise from time to time if you like really do the pressure. I think you can hear that, yeah? So, but yeah, if you do a mid-range drawing and not like pressing it, you really can't hear it that much, but then you kind of get used to it, so. Okay, let's jump into the computer and see how everything works there. Let's see what we have here. The installation of the driver was very fast and very comfortable. I've read before that people had problems with installing the drivers and setting them up and running them for the first time. So here's the tray to see and it's called graphic tablet. And okay, now I'm switching to the pen box. So yeah, uh, we have some options here. Of course, there's not so many options. So first we have what define what buttons do so I have the keyboard keys here and you can choose like what you want so control plus D gives the undo command for me and then the first button I'm using it as the right button here's the pressure sensitivity so the more you use it on the left the less pressure you will need to feel the maximum of it as I call it and I usually like it something here, yeah? So you need to push harder to get the bigger pressure. And here you can choose your screen. If I I use an extra monitor, so you can choose it here. And uh, there's a pen pressure test. So it's very basic. It's very very basic. But I don't know even why they have three colors. It's, it's a little bit stupid and stuff. But yeah, you can see the bar below it shows you how much pressure are you feeling. And so. You're doing it like very light, you get very light, 
to do it a bit more harder, so a bit harder, and then you can go to something like medium, and then you can go really, really up high. And then you have the advanced settings. In my case, it's like the physical buttons and the active buttons. And of course, you can choose how much of the area you're using. I'm using the left hand to the left hand, so everything is turned on. 180 degrees so these appear on the right and these appear on the bottom and it's an interesting thing that the cap access buttons do not work with your finger at first I was pressing them like really hard and thinking oh come on why are they not working then I understood that they only work with the pen so you need to click on the pen with the pen and the button so that's just a thing you need to get used to it's not worse or not better than that so okay so everything here is i think it's pretty fun the device is connected you click the flag okay guys this is the final stage of a review the actual review in photoshop and i'm an architecture student so i usually do hand drawings and hand sketches and i do them in my moleskin notebook as you can see here i don't know can i find some sketches yeah so just some mind thingies and stuff like that so this is my first digital sketching stage and I'm gonna try to use it as much as possible and learn as much as possible and for the first time I'm gonna try to color my regular sketches which were scanned but you're not here for that let's see how the pen pressure works and that's the famous pen pressure 8 drawing so that's light. And okay, let's do something hard. We see how much does it go. Huh? Oh yeah, we can make the brush bigger. Let's move a bit here. Yeah. So the sensitivity is pretty, pretty good, I think. No, I just want to. Yeah. Okay, let's. Click transfer. So now you can see how good it works. Really. I'm just gonna zoom out, guys. So the sensitivity is pretty good. I'm comfortable with it. I can get different tones. I can use it like a pencil-like drawing or something. I think it's a good deal, and it's a good tablet. And you should try it on. It's one hundred dollars or ninety euros. It's not that big price for a graphic tablet that works, and you can really do some artwork and can really do some sketching. And I think it's not even beginner level. It goes up to intermediate, intermediate, and even above level. So that's end of review. I like the tablet, and I'm gonna continue using it.